<laughs> Look at this guy hanging out. But peace from the Garden of Theodora. And it's autumn here in the Garden of Theodora. And we got some things we're going to do today, and I decided to take you along with me on the journey. We're going to move some of these chickens, and we also have the ducks over there, and we're going to move them too. The first thing we got to do is uh, feed these children. One thing you may have noticed is that we changed how the gate is here in the chicken pen. We have it going up here to where the tall grass was. The guy who cuts our grass called it quits on us, but that's okay. I got myself a lawnmower and a weed whacker and also some hens to do the job. But this grass right here was like really, really tall. And so they, they've been stomping it down for me. So here's the plan. I'm also finally going to get myself some goats or maybe a sheep or something like that. And we're going to leash it. We're gonna take it around. See here it's not that tall, but I'll get to that in a second. And we're gonna put that goat to work. Fence this, check this out. See this grass right here? Yeah, this is why a lawnmower man called it quits on us. Because of this, it only gets really tall right here in the other patch over there. And I mowed that down myself the other day. Back here where we walk, it doesn't really get that tall and he could take his rod, man, anyway, that's something else. But I'm getting myself some goats. And we're gonna basically use them for milk. Uh, I'm trying to get my hands on two Nigerian dwarfs. And, you know, raise them and love them and let them do the work and get the milk from them. But the lady's trying to get my attention. Let me walk down here. Oh, I think we lost a chicken. Yeah, we lost a chicken. It's one of our frizzles. And we were just about to move all the frizzles today. We're building a pen over there for our frizzles because uh, we're starting to sell the eggs. We lost so many frizzles this season. I think they're just, I don't know. And that was a boy. That was a good boy too. That's his gene right there. And that beautiful little frizzle here. Well, Theodora's not gonna like that. But the show must go on. So let's press on. Side project. I caught this little turtle wandering around on my property, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of turtle he is. So if you know, please let me know because my plan is to build a pond on my property, and I want to know if he can, you know, be submerged within the water or be out the water, or should I just let him go? He's been here for about a day. Gave him a little piece of fruit here. Go ahead and bust it up so he can. Get to all the goodness that's inside there. Eat up, pal. Here is where the ducks are going to move to. We're going to come in here and do one final harvest. Get all the red tomatoes. We got a juicy watermelon right up here. And some peppers there. Some tomatoes there. There's a bunch of green tomatoes in here. I'm just going to go ahead and leave. They can go ahead and have them. Um, there's like some watermelon back there with blossom and rot. They can eat that. There's peppers over here. We're going to get those. There's okra. Uh, there's a bunch of things in from the forage on. The plan is having them come in here and live from now until about uh, February. And then we're going to get them out of here. And we're going to start the garden all over again with fresh compacted land. We're going to build them a swimming area and all that stuff. We're not really build. We're just going to put a pool in here for these guys. And let them go ahead and be the master of the domain right up in here. There's a couple things I got to get. We got a potato patch right there. These are yam slips. We got the onion patch right here. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, probably one of my next videos I do. So I'm going to get those out of there. We got some spinach and Swiss chard over here. We're going to go ahead and get those out. I forgot the name of these berries. If you know, please let me know. But the ducks really love them, so I'm going to let them go ahead and tear that apart. And other than that, let's go ahead and get to work, baby. We actually should have some yams in here. But I don't know. I'm not going to disturb it just yet. Hey, I didn't even know these were here. 
Look at that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Look at that, baby. Are those the sweet ones? Yeah, these are the sweet ones. Oh. Wow, look at that. They're gorgeous. They are. There you go. Perfect. And these right here, oh, are my favorite, favorite tomato. Unfortunately, I'm a little late to the party. Look at that. They got inside of it. Aww. That's okay. There's some more coming. Hope the ducks don't get them. And check this out while I was over here messing around. I found what looks like either a giant cucumber or a small watermelon. Good grief, look at that thing. This is why I love to grow things abstractly. Yeah. I just kind of throw seeds around and plant things where I want them and have surprises in autumn. I do it every year and it makes me so happy when I can find things that are edible. All right, let's see what this thing is. Looks like a giant cucumber. Oh my goodness. It does look Yeah. Spiders down here too. Here it is. It's a giant cucumber. <laughs> it's inedible. You know this thing probably tastes like water and seaweed. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw this down here because <laughs> the, the ducks are gonna love it. And as you know, I love to grow lemon plants. This one's in a bucket. I'm gonna take this in the house. We're gonna overwinter that. This one right here, I actually put into the ground. So I can't move that. So this is gonna let me know if these lemon plants actually can survive outside. And this is only a year old. You know, I planted this uh, mm, earlier this year, so it's not even quite a year. Either one of these. And the ones I have in the house, they're small and they're about a year old. So that lets me know that you know, of course, the good God is going to take care of the things that I can. Here we come, duckies. Yeah, they've eaten this grass down bare. And there's one out. How'd you get out? We're going to solve all that now. Hopefully, they'll follow the lady with the red bucket to their new habitat. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I live in there. You too. They're so used to not being out. Come on. And you just gonna sit down on the job, huh? Come on. That's the wrong way. This way. There they go. There they go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They will not go that way. All right, it's too cluttered. Let me move some of this stuff. They're going back in. Good grief. Come on. All right, here we go. See that? That's that slave mine right there. Come on. All right, these guys was a pain in the neck. <laughs> but we got them. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun. Because some of y'all ain't going to make it. Thanksgiving's coming. Just being real. We've accomplished a lot. We've accomplished a little. One of my boys here, we moved them from over there and we're gonna put them in with the ducks. And as you see, the ducks are doing really, really good. We just don't need any Rhode Island Reds right now. We don't want any more of his children. Our focus is on the Bantams. The Cochins and the Frizzles. You see, we moved the duck pin from here, put it over here to fresh grass. And this is going to be our frizzle pen. And this is our other focus here. These are called the Ducle, Duclu, Duclos, Ducklies. <laughs> Read it right there. 
So, yeah, these little guys right here, these are the guys, the ones with the dark heads right there. Those are the girls, and that's a dude too, even though dude looks like a lady. Sing it. So, their new home is going to be in there. This is Batman. This is our, our silky boy. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And we're going to put him in with the other silkies and frizzles and bantams. Let them intermingle. You jealous? Are you coming to investigate? There we go. Well, that was quick. Grand opening, grand closing. Look at him over there, eating my tomatoes. No, but I'm happy for them. I'm glad we have them in a place where they can be tranquil, be peaceful. You know, maybe we'll get a couple of eggs during the autumn season. It's unlikely, but it's not impossible. And we gotta fight. Oh well, shouldn't have did what you did. Hey, this is lemon pepper. Look how big he's gotten. This little ducky from that little, that little short vid that we did. He was sitting on my daughter's shoulder. Look at him, big enough to get eaten. Stop. Okay, we're not gonna eat you yet. <laughs> you pretty, pretty duck, duck. All right, you wanna go in with your families? Come on, let's go. This is Icarus, our other Ducle. Look at this, look at this Duclu, Ducklies. <laughs> look at this, um, spread those feathers out. And look at his feet. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful bird. <laughs> He's a little frustrated now. Yeah. But it's alright. <laughs> we tried to bite you? Yeah. I'm going to cut that part out, okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, I won't. Look at this dude. This is Cream. My daughter named them. She names all the birds, basically. This is our Frizzle. Our other Frizzle. He is a boy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this. This, is, this still is, amazes me. Look at that comb. Look at this dude. This handsome fella. Right? Got some beautiful babies, man. Yep. Alright, come on. Let's get on inside. Another one of our little young frizzles here. Getting ready to go into the frizzle pen. It's gorgeous. Sorry about your dad. <laughs> Alright, enough of this sexiness. Get yourself in there. This is our last little frizzle of the day that we're putting in. So soft, silky. Oh, this, this one is mixed with a silky, right? No, no, no. This one is um mixed, mixed with, with a coaching. coaching. All right, mixed with the coaching. Handsome. Oh, it's a boy. It may be a girl, but I think it's a boy. What do you think? I think it's a little boy. Yeah. Anyway, it's cute. He's going in to the little sanctuary here. Yep. That's the mommy right there. And that's the daddy. You about to take your children back. Be kind. Hey, lemon pepper. By yourself. That's the way to do it, pal. Trust me. These two boys right here can't find a home for them. If I put them in with the other ones, they'll start fighting. They're beautiful. But I have to sell them. If you want them, let me know. 
<laughs> Look at them. Getting used to your new overlord over there. I'm gonna let them be. But it feels good knowing we got so much stuff done today. Set out to do what we said we were gonna do. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Now we just gotta get through this little mess right here. Not much. Get the veggies in the house. Do a little cleanup. Well, let's go ahead and walk on inside. Hey girl. Ducks destroy everything. Well, what's going to happen with these ducks? Let me go ahead and explain something to you. Their time is winding down. Uh, well, most of them anyway. And they're noisy. So the plan is we're going to keep a couple of the good ducks that we like. And we're going to go ahead and uh, prepare for Thanksgiving. So we're letting them go ahead and free range in here and eat what's left of the garden. We're going to start detoxing their body. Do the whole sage and vinegar thing. You know, just make sure they clean. And then we're going to opt for some more ducks, right? But here's the plan. We're going to get some Moscovy ducks. Because those ducks are nice and quiet. But let me just show you this place in here. This is all there is for the next few months to come through and to do whatever they want with. I love it back here. It goes way back there. Yeah, I found some of Theodora's toys. Hey, chicken. A crocodile. Some other stuff. They can go all back there, all deep in back there. They've already found the tomatoes, I see. Oh, ants all over me, good grief. Yeah, eat those ants, they want the toys. Eat them, bang your head. Bang your head on them toys. Look at that! Come on here, banger, do your thing. Yeah, they made a home in there. Sorry about your crocodile. All right. I'm great, get out your way. We got things to do. Even the guineas are in here now. Night, night, lemon pepper. Night, night. Night, night. Night, night. Yeah, night, night. Oh. Hey, I don't have no food for you. I don't have no food. All righty, go play. Well, germs and worms, I have some other little tasks that I much attend to that doesn't really concern you. So I gotta get going. And I wanna thank you for chilling with me today. <laughs> and rocking with the best. Do something pleasant today. Tell someone you love them. Enjoy life. Dance in the rain. Sing with your heart. And don't forget, as I leave you, I always have to remind you to operate in life within accordance. 
and search for the absence of confusion. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora. And don't forget, please, subscribe or hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora.